Hey Lochi. Welcome to Fundu Tester. In previous sessions, we discussed about a Trello API. We created a collection and we have executed collection end to end. In this, we will cover positive, negative and edge cases for a request body as well as the response body. And we will see how we can come up with a test cases and what are the things we need to test for a APIs. And after understanding a test cases in further sessions, we also discuss how we can automate those test cases in a postman. So to learn automation, you must understand how we can write and how we can come up with a test cases for our APIs. It is not a straightforward like a UI. So let's get started. And before that, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Fundu Tester. Camera rolling action. Let's get started. In this, we are going to discuss boards API. So we have get specific board data, get all boards and get single board. First, we will understand how we can test request body and URL and then how we can test a response body. I have divided the test cases into three different sections like a positive, negative and edge cases. So first talk about a get specific board details. So I'm going to a Excel sheet here. I have written the test cases. So first we will discuss positive test cases here. The first positive test case is a valid key and token. And uh, in description, I have written NC with the endpoint returns the list of boards with valid key and token and response would be 200. Okay. A JSON array of a boards with a fields name and URL. So if we are passing a data with a URL and name, then it should return name and URL. So if I'm meeting this, so we are getting a correct data because we have passed all this data correctly now the second test case is along with the field and parameter so uh, here also we have to make sure that for all the fields we are getting the appropriate response and then additional valid fields so here i have passed a url and name but what if we have a 10 field so we have to make sure that for all the required fields we are getting a proper response or not so these are the basic positive test cases now for invalid test cases i have written a couple of more scenarios so like a uh, invalid key invalid token missing key missing token and we have to make sure that if we are writing for a junior we have to test with a junior member then we have to provide some uh, sample response or sample api data because they won't able to understand what is a uh, invalid fields we have to write a test case in a such a way that if someone is referring to the test cases they should be able to understand easily and uh, here also i have written the error messages as a expected result for this api let's say i'm getting a 401 which is unauthorized or a 403 forbidden so we have to make sure for a, from the api documentation or api requirement for let's say i'm passing an invalid key then which status code api should return so we have to make sure that it should be 401 or it should be 403 it is not like that it will return some random number and it will fail it should have a proper error message so here let's say we are going to execute this let's say i'm not passing a key let's say missing key and i'm running the test so here it is showing an invalid app key if i'm uh, not passing a token then it is showing an invalid token similar way let's say we are passing a some dummy data with the key so i'm removing a key and some dummy data with a key so it will say invalid key so like that we have to make sure that we are getting a proper error response or not apart from uh, have written invalid fields parameter so here we are passing a uh, multiple fields like a url name and based on that we are getting a data in a response for a url and name so if what if i'm passing an invalid key and i'm sending so basically it is a rejecting a invalid data but giving a proper response so is, is it matching with a business requirement if the requirement is if for an invalid key, API should fail, then it should fail. But if it is a requirement is like that for an invalid fields, it will reject the invalid field and uh, provide a response for a valid field. So make sure that it should be based on the requirement, not based on the assumptions. Later on, a malformed URL. So malformed URL means let's say face of field, I am passing uh, some invalid characters and i am hitting the request so here it is saying a malformed url so we have to make sure that a url is invalid then we should get such error messages and uh, as a tester you should have a understanding that what is the length of a url if you are passing a huge data into url then what is going to happen 
so if you know then you can you can answer me in a comment section for a age cases large number of a board so let's say here we are getting a couple of a boards but what if we have created a thousand boards then we will get a proper response or not in that case we have to make sure that the response time here for a normal data like a small amount of data we are getting it response in 360 milliseconds and response size is a 2.91 kb but what if i am getting i'm trying to get data for a thousand board so that is a expensive test first we have to create a thousand board and then we will get a response and then we have to make sure so for such scenarios automation is must and a special character in the field so if some fields is created like a such a way that it is expecting a special character then we should get a appropriate response for a special character fields as well and maximum field allowed so here i am passing a two field name and url but if it is uh, we can filter data based on the 15 fields then we have to pass here 15 field and we have to make sure that we are getting a proper data or not and uh, now those were uh, for a request body similar way i have written a couple of test cases to test response body so again positive test cases we are going to make sure that response is a valid array it contains the proper field data whatever data we have passed this should contain so proper array it means uh, we are validating the schemas uh, in earlier session we discussed what is a json schema against each apis we have to make sure that the whatever the response we are getting is matching with the schema we have to make sure that we are getting a data based on the schema and verify the correct data type so here again if it is id then it is stored as a string data if name also it is stored in a string data so if it is a boolean data let's say so boolean data will be in a true or false and it should be without a double quote so again if i if you are getting a boolean data but a true is mentioned in a double quote then you then that is a false because it is considered as a string format because only string data we are getting within a double quote but if if it is a number then double quote is not needed if it is a boolean value then double quote is not needed similar way for a null data so we have to make sure for each and every data type we are getting a proper data types then valid url format so the here again this is the very important thing to validate because this url can be used with a further more api so if we are not getting a proper url then further test will fail or further application flow will break so here we have to make sure that if you are working on a test environment then it has to be something like trello.com if we are working on a dev environment then this url has to be dev.trello.com so based on that this base uri up to this is changing or rest of the data is remaining same or not so we have to make sure apart from that uh, the specific board information we are getting or not like a board id is something like this so we should get a specific board details and we have to make sure that this data is into a pair uh, like for example we are getting this id but name is mentioning instead of automation it is mentioning a cursing so this data is id name and url is not matching so it has to be from a single board this data has to be from a single board this data also should be from a single board so all this data is matching or not based on that we have to uh, design a test then negative test cases so invalid uh, response structure here also here we have already validated that response structure missing fields in correct data type or invalid url format so again for automat automation perspective we have to make sure that we have to add a validation in a such a way that we are validating all the data and then empty response so let's say i have created a new trello account and i don't have created any board but still i am trying to get the data of a specific board then uh, this api should return me an empty response so we have to make sure that before creating a board we should get a proper data or proper if it is a proper error message like you don't have any board created then proper that error message should be displayed uh, that special character with a board name so this is a very very expensive and crucial test why because for example let's say before this is the get request and before that we are executing a create request which is the post request then post we are creating some data so for that there's a, there has to be some validations and based on that we have created a board those validations are not matching with the put and delete api then it will leads to some error so i'll give you a simple example let's say you are going to a facebook and you are going to do the sign up 
for a sign up there is a certain requirement for a password field like you have to enter special character alphabets like a capital letter small letter and some numeric values so you have created a password like nissan that the red one two three and using same password you are able to log in but what happens let's say developer has missed some checks and uh, if you go to the setting and there you are editing your password and you are mentioning nissan123 there is a no validation for a special character or capital or small letter you can enter any password and then you can save once you will do the logout or sign off then again you will try to log in then you won't be able to log in because for a login they have implemented proper validation but they missed the validation for a edit password from a setting so those kind of scenarios shouldn't be missed by tester if you are if there is a one field which is being used multiple places then all the places should have same validations so this is a very expensive and very critical test if your developer is not experienced then most probably you will get error in such scenarios so you have to make sure that you are testing each field if it is being used in 10 places then you are going to make sure that for all the 10 places there are proper validations in place and next is a maximum number of a board so for example you have thousand boards something similar to the large number of a board so if you have thousand boards then you are able to get the thousand boards or if they have defined some maximum limit even though you have a thousand boards but your api will return a first 20 and then uh, next 20 and then next 20 based on the pagination so you have to make sure that you should know the fundamental of a pagination and based on that you should able to get the data accordingly and the duplicate board id so you have to again make sure that the, here you are getting a 10 data 10 board ids then all the 10 board ids has to be unique if those are not unique if you have only nine boards created but api is returning 10 details and one detail is a duplicate then your test is fail so such scenarios you shouldn't miss as a tester now we are going to talk about a get all boards api so here we have another uh, api which is a get all boards and here uh, for a get specific board data we are getting all the board details but with limited fields like a name and url but here we are getting uh, all the board details with a full data not a partial data but here we are simply here we have uh, only added one more data which is a parameter which is a field and name but here we don't have any parameters as such we are just passing a key and token so based on that i have written a test cases so though uh, like a positive test valid key and token so if i execute this uh, we are getting a response so that test is a pass and then invalid key invalid token missing key missing token so again uh, for a seasoned developer if it is a, if he is or she is experienced then they will write a code at one place and they will reuse the code at multiple places for each and every APS there will be a single code for a key or token or basic validations kind of uh, stuff but as a tester we have to make sure that for a different places if there is a validation then we should test such scenarios in terms of automation or at least once we have to make sure that we are getting a proper data or not so again here we have to test this API with an invalid key or token and malformed URL as we discussed earlier so these are the simple tests for get all boards and as a homework i request you to write a test cases for a get all board response body so how you are going to test similar way you are getting a proper id it is not uh, uh, exchanged with another board uh, yeah the name is proper and the url it is given the url has to be correct so you need to open this url you should be navigated to appropriate board only so this kind of scenarios you have to understand you have to think and do you have to write in a test cases and now we have another api which is a get single board so for a single board we are passing one extra parameter which is a board id so we are passing here correct board id rest of the things are same we are passing a key and token and based on that we are getting a full board information for a only single board so for a positive i have written valid key valid token and valid board id we are passing then it should api should return 200 proper response code so the those tests we have already performed many times and later on invalid board id so if i'm passing a here invalid board id let's say instead of board id i'm passing some random data checklist id those are not considered as a board id then we should get a the requested resource was not found the board is not available it has to be a proper error messages and those error messages should be from a requirement so there shouldn't be 
any single character change if it is mentioned in the requirement there should be requested resource not found and then you will find that there is some article is being added then it is a error developer has to fix those so those this is a very trivial issue but still this is a issue and then invalid key invalid token so again uh, for all this we have we have to make sure that for invalid data uh, it should fail and then apart from uh, deleted board so let's say i have created board and then i'm able to get the board details but once i delete this board then there should be proper error messages like a board is not board is deleted or board is not exist if the developer wants to display the error messages like a board is already deleted then they are storing data somewhere or they are archiving data like a soft deleting for user it is deleted but for a server the data is still exists so in such scenarios only they can mention that board is deleted all in all there should be proper error messages then user without access so this is again important test why because if i'll give a pro generic example you are using a facebook group so for each and every group there is a one admin and a couple of moderators and then members so admin will have a full access member will have limited access like uh, he can post he can approve someone else post or uh, he has maybe rights to delete the po post but member can only post and like and comment member cannot add another member member cannot delete the post so for based on the roles there will be a appropriate access similar way uh, for example let's say for this particular key and token i have given access of a uh, five boards only so only those five boards id i should be able to access rest of the board i should be i should get error messages so such kind of uh, scenarios if you are working on a tricky application there uh, there is a workflow created for a different different users then you have to make sure that you are testing all those areas as well and uh, board space uh, board with a special character so as i explained earlier with a uh, password example so similar way as i explained if there is a validation such a way that for uh, multiple fields then similar way you have to test around the all the areas wherever that field is being used and rate limit if there is a rate limit of a specific amount of data then you have to make sure that you are uh, testing around that area as well and a board with large data i hope you are able to understand the test cases and you have some idea how to write a test cases for apis so for three apis i have written around 43 test cases and uh, still i have not covered the test case for a response body of a two requests so those i'm giving you for a homework but i believe that you are having an idea rough idea about how you can write a test cases and while writing a test cases uh, you should know how to implement a test design technique so if you are not aware of a test design technique we have multiple test design techniques so for a software uh, i have created a one specific uh, tutorial for a software testing and there i have covered all the test case design technique on which area which test cases we design technique we can implement so those things i have covered if you are not familiar then i highly recommend to watch those videos it will be very beneficial for a tester and in next session we are going to discuss uh, a couple of more test cases like a create card get card update card and delete card so this test cases we will discuss in the next session and uh, uh, this sheet you will get from the description so you can refer this sheet but before that i recommend to come up with your own test cases and if you stuck anywhere feel free to ask me in a comment section i'll be happy to help I hope this video is informative and if you have any doubts feel free to ask me in a comment section and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Fundu Testers thank you so much